Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and as always for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, I've got a bit of a treat for you. We're just going to recap the new Series 10 rules and then get into some rental teams for you. So do stick around. I'm going to touch on Series 10. So it's always good to kind of refresh ourselves. We've got the new rules kicking into effect officially yesterday as of recording this video. Obviously, it goes into effect on the 1st of August for anyone a little bit confused if you're watching this a little bit out of sync with when I'm uploading this. So series 10, we can see uh, the link town to Serebii with all the information as always will be in the description if you want to check these out for yourself. But we've got a season 21, which is kicking off into series 10. Normally the series lasts for about three months. So we can say from August, September, October, end of October, we'll probably get a new rule set going into November. Although we may not because we know that Diamond and Pearl, their remakes are coming out in November. So it'll be interesting to see what they do in that space but thinking about it this is probably the last rule set that we're going to have before diamond and pearl come out which is very exciting and um, it runs obviously as you can see from the 1st of august to the 31st this is this season 21 and then we'll go down to the doubles rule set restricted uh pokemon available national decks pokemon so everything is available uh, as long as it does have the uh, the, the Gala mark or the Battle Ready mark. Pokemon limits, team of 4 to 6 Pokemon from 1 to level 100. All Pokemon will be moved to level 50. If they're level 1, they'll be moved up. If they're level 100, they'll be moved down. Uh, we all know this, restricted Pokemon. So the restriction in this format is one of the following per team. You get the choice of either Mewtwo, Lugia, ho or Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Reshiram, Zekrom, Curum, Xerneas, Evoltal, Zygod, Cosmog, Cosmoam, Solgaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, Zacian, Zamazenta, Eternatus, and Calyrex. So, bit of a mouthful. We get the idea. You're going to get to use one of these restricted Pokemon per team. Uh, it's a bit like Series 8. But the other restriction that we've got, which everyone's singing the praises of, and I think it's a really good move. It makes it refreshing to play this format without this, this mechanic, and that is Dynamax are not allowed. I know we've covered this on the channel before, but just refreshing you guys. I thought it would be good to jump into Series 10 officially, just like this. Battle timer is 20 minutes, your time 7 minutes, 90 seconds team preview, and 45 seconds per turn. Uh, this is the 10th ranked battle series season, focused on Pokemon from the Gala Pokedex, Isle of Armor, and the Crown Tundra, and any other Pokemon obtainable in the games. It allows for you to utilize restricted legendary Pokemon once in your team. It goes beyond what other rule sets did and banned Dynamax. So there we go. There it is in a nutshell. We've got it. We are here and we're going to be able to enjoy it for presumably the next three months, I would imagine, until Diamond Pearl come into effect. Now getting over to the juice of today's episode i have got some rental teams for you all to kind of get started if you haven't been watching the content that we've been doing over the last month on the channel uh, we have been doing a lot of showdown content just looking at teams and seeing how things are kind of shaping up in the format so far um so to kind of help you all out um i've put together five rental teams i would have done more unfortunately we are locked and restricted by what we can put up on the switch um and by our nintendo online account so here we go we've got a tornoga team a xerneas team a zashian team calyrex shadow rider team and eveltal team the last one was hard it could have been groudon it could have been eternatus but i feel like eveltal's picking up in usage recently and i think it's it warranted i think this team's really good so this is the reason why i put it in there so first off let's start with the tornoga team pretty standard uh, you've got the tornadus there the kyogre uh, it's a bulky Kyogre we featured on our showdown series. Uh, Tornadus, pretty standard. All the poker pace for all of these teams is down in the description as well, so you'll be able to see all the exact details. Uh, we've got Regieleki, gives a little bit of additional speed control alongside the Tornadus. Serena is what is the glue of this team. With that Queenly Majesty ability, prevents any priority attacks coming onto the team, makes it very difficult for things like Rillaboom to operate and just negates things like Fake Out as well. Uh, then we've got Incineroar for um, obviously a grass type as well, works well with that Firewater Grass Core with the Kyogre and Serena. And it also allows us a little bit of Intimidate and Fake Out and then rounding the team off with a good old Landris Incarnate. And I've got to give a big shout out to Bebum. A uh, big friend of the channel, big friend of mine uh, for providing us with the Landorus in this team because I was pretty stuck for getting one. So he's provided us with one from 
Gen 5 as well. So it's a pretty cool Landorus if you do use this rental. Uh, do give him a shout out down in the comment section below and I'm sure you would appreciate that. I definitely do. So this is the Tornoga team. And uh, we'll move on to the next one, which is going to be the Xerneas team. Check. Xerneas, really good in this format. We run weeklies uh, over here on our Discord server. They're open to everyone on a Friday night. And Xerneas, the last couple of weeks, has been doing extremely well in these weeklies. Uh, I do post the results, so keep an eye on my Twitter line for those. Uh, Osiris VGC. Um, and this team, pretty self-explanatory. Support Xerneas, help it get set up, and then just crush whatever in front of you pretty much you know uh the very standard xerneas got a little bit of bulk in there max speed on the xerneas i feel like that's quite important and i have done for a long time with xerneas and uh, then you've got volcarona another very important component to this team with the rage power that helps support the xerneas in tricky situations also gives you a really good matchup against things like zashin because zashin just can't really hit it for good damage especially with that grassy seed boost that you get from the rillaboom uh, you got the double fake out there in rillaboom in incineroar um, and then you've got Urshifu, uh, the water type with the Mystic Water, hits pretty hard and hits a lot of things in this format for really good damage, you know. Um, so making up a nice Firewater Grass Call, good synergy in there, supports the Xerneas pretty well as well. And then you've got Regieleki kind of tagged on to the end. You could go Amoongus in that last slot because then it gives you kind of additional redirection. It gives you a Trick Room check as well. Although I don't really feel like you need it in the additional kind of Regieleki support that you get here is pretty useful and um, so this is the team for Xerneas again poke appears to be down in the description okay moving on to our next team it's going to be Zashian so Zashian probably one of the the more one of my more favorite restricteds in this format super powerful uh, got that intrepid sword ability so whenever it enters the battlefield gets an attack boost which is just ridiculous it kind of makes intimidate even more more important in this format uh got a pretty standard set on it with the substitute you take advantage of that so you you negate uh intimidate shuffling if you can get that substitute up obviously any further intimidates coming onto the field as long as the substitute's active will not go through the substitute and you'll not get those attack drops so uh, it makes life a lot easier for zashin to kind of play around with it's a bit more of a, a bulky zashin in this team as you see from the poker paste to getting down in the description below um, but I feel like it performs very well and that extra bulk is really, really nice. It just pro prolongs the longevity of, of Zashin, you know. Uh, again, got that double fake out. And you'll see a lot of the similar trends in these teams. But I feel like for beginning teams, for people coming onto the ladder, wanting just to try different archetypes out, I think it's best to stick with this stuff that has been very popular very successful so far in the format and it gives you a good advantage to kind of get your head around the format and jump in straight away with a few teams so this is why i've kind of stuck some of you may be thinking oh every team's got incineroar and really boom on but you know they're pretty big staples in the format at the minute so they're there on each team because they do so well they do lots of really important jobs to better than any other pokemon so this is why they're there Obviously, we'll be delving into Series 10 as we go through uh, the next few months. So, we'll be changing up. It's just a starter, okay? Got the Regieleki in there. A nice Firewater Grass Court again with the Urshifu. Very popular at the minute. And then the Landorus as well coming in there to give the team a little bit of additional support. Uh, so, that's the Zashian team. Okay, next team up is the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, if you've been watching the channel, we had a best of three last week on the channel with a Fevzi. Uh, and a big shout out to Fevzi, obviously, for that amazing finish in the recent Players Cup 4. Uh, incredible to see. We had a great best of three. We both actually ended up using Shadow Rider Calyrex in that best three um so this team took a little bit of inspiration from what i was originally using and a lot of inspiration from what he was using and what seems to be pretty much a very kind of common six that we're seeing uh, at the minute with the shadow rider calyrex uh you've got a few issues obviously with things like porygon 2 so you really have to prioritize those but if you go back to that best best of three uh, and you see how Fevzi kind of deals with that issue. You can see how you kind of have to approach that matchup with only having ghost type attacks on the Shadow Rider Calyrex. 
but I do feel like this set is amazing with the substitute. It does give you that little bit of extra room to kind of get it in a super nice position with that bit of protection and then start stacking those um, grim near boosts that you can do in that building momentum sort of thing. Uh, a lot of similar support here. You've got the Firewater Grass Core in the Urshifu Incineroar Rillaboom. You've got Nihiligo here, which is a great check for things like uh, Volcarona. Um, and there aren't really too many um, Pokemon that are going to really threaten you off the off the straight off the bounce um in the format you know you're gonna have to worry about things like scarf tapulele obviously if it's got whimsicott support and then opposing calyrex if they do have expanding force and things like that but you do have ways to get around that regieleki here again going to be a great addition for additional speed control um but the team overall i feel like this is probably one of the best builds for calyrex at the minute with this six so this is why i've tried to kind of replicate that that we're seeing a very kind of common trend and hopefully it's something that you'll enjoy if you do want to try it out and then we wrap up with the Eveltal team and this is one that I do really like. I really like Assault Vest Eveltal. I think Eveltal in format at the minute obviously it's um it's hard to say it's it's a great pick when Xerneas is having so much success but I do feel like it's got a place in the format. It can deal with both forms of Urshifu very well. It deals with Rillaboom very well. It doesn't really care too much about Incineroar as well um, and with that kind of 99 speed uh, base speed it's very kind of good at dishing out a lot of damage got to watch out for things like Nihiligo of course which is another very good check for it um, and Nihiligo anti-meta Pokemon can deal with Eveltal and Xerneas pretty well so that is something you need to watch out for with Eveltal but to kind of cover that you've got the Scarfed Landorus uh, with Intimidate so we do have double Intimidate in this team helps out against the Zashin matchup a bunch as well as a bunch of other things and then a Trick Room mod as well with Stack Attacker which definitely is probably one of the best things to have again against uh, Xerneas and um, with the safety goggles you can ignore rage powder as well so you can get the trick room set up and always guarantee that gyro ball into the slot that you want it into. Uh, gotta watch out for ally switch but I don't know how much ally switch has been going around in this format. Anyway they are the teams as I say I do have the poker pastes of all of the teams as well so you can um, pull these up They'll all be linked down in the description below. So all the details of the spreads um, and the movesets and all of the items. Like I say, I would have liked to have done more teams to uh, provide for you all. But unfortunately, we are locked in with these slots that we've got. Um, so we'll have these up for a couple of weeks and then we'll start cycling through some new teams. Um, and we'll be featuring new teams on the channel over these next couple of weeks. So if there are Pokemon that you would like to see featured in our new series, uh, do let me know down in the comment section below. We've had suggestions like ho -Oh, which we will be doing. Groudon will definitely be coming to the floor. And there's some interesting Pokemon like Dustman Necrozma as well that we haven't really touched on yet and Reshiram and things like that that we have had suggestions for. So we'll be slowly going through all of these different archetypes and featuring teams around them. But to get everyone started and just put these out here as a resource that people can use to help them just jump on the ladder learn series 10 if they want if they haven't already kind of got involved with i know the thing is a lot of players are already really deep in the format so some of these teams may not be that useful but if they are then job done and um, we're going to keep this quite short today so hopefully you've enjoyed it friends uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll be back very soon on the channel with some actual series 10 content on the switch which is very exciting so looking forward to that have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye